Yeah, so I mentioned in the last video that working on this building is kind of like a Rubik's Cube puzzle. So before I show you what we're doing today, let me rewind a little bit and show you what this building looked like a month ago. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Real Life for Dells. I am standing in what is a 12 by 24 workshop and it's an absolute nightmare. Um, if you follow us on Facebook or Instagram, you've probably seen some of these. Uh, Twitter has links to it. Um, but this, for five years, has been basically a storage building for us. So we've got you know, almost 20 years worth of uh, items that have been sitting in here for five years. There's boxes from our move that we never even opened. Yeah, it was that bad. So, just for reference sake, let me pick up the camera and show you what it looks like today. I mean, granted, let me put this where the camera was in that time-lapse shot, which would have been right now I take it back it was over here so this is where the camera was and so you can see it is night and day different and in a very very good way so right now what I need to do is build a miter saw station right there but I've got so much junk then I gotta do two things. Number one, we're gonna show you the lumber storage rack we built on the other side of that wall. And then number two, I've got a set of nesting boxes. And if you don't know what nesting boxes are, it's forgivable. My granddad was a rancher, and so I'm very familiar with what nesting boxes are and the demon chickens that are associated with them. If you love chickens, don't take offense at it. I was a little kid who, when asked to go collect eggs from the chicken house was attacked by said chickens. And I'm not afraid of chickens. I think some of them are quite cute, especially when they're tiny. Um, but they're still demon chickens. My grandfather had mean, nasty, horrible demon chickens that would chase me. Apparently they wanted their eggs back. So, just bad memories, dredges up things. So. That begs the question, why in the world would I intentionally go and buy a set of nesting boxes and then hang them in my room where I'm gonna spend arguably a great amount of time? The answer to that question is, I have no clue. But I have nesting boxes. And they need to go right on that wall. And we're gonna use that as another storage element. And it's also gonna look pretty cool. So. Those are the two projects I need to get done. But before I can do either of those, I need to put some plastic sheeting on these walls because that's got to have plastic sheeting and some kind of wall covering on it before I can build a miter saw station in front of it. And I need all these little storage things dealt with before I can get them out of the way. So Rubik's Cube, here we go. I would love nothing more than to build the miter saw station, but I can't yet because all of my wood is in those two piles. So instead what we're going to do today is we're going to take those pallets and some four by fours I've got in the back and we're going to build a wood rack with a whole bunch of shelves on it so we can separate out the pickets and the two by fours and two by sixes and the one bys and all that kind of stuff. So. <sighs>
back of the storage building. It used to have a bunch of lumber right there. Uh, didn't really like it. It was no man's land back here. So we've since put chicken wire here to keep the dogs from digging under the fence or clawing at it. So this is, this is the not glamorous side of the project. <laughs> there is no video for what went on back here. So, but for this to all be clean is just amazing. So just goes to show you, we're getting rid of all the black holes. So I'm gonna take a break because I am soaked. And then we're gonna put some more levels into this to separate two by sixes, two by fours, one buys, and then some of our trim and stuff that we've got in there, so. Okay, so here is the lumber rack. Now I will be the first to tell you it is not finished. My wife, first thing she said was it needs a roof. Um, so when we are done with all of those fence pickets, putting them on the wall, the scraps I'm gonna use on a, another piece of plywood. Okay, I can do the angle. Maybe, yeah, like that. Not bad. I mean, it's just basically old pallets, a couple of four by fours and then some one by twos and an old treated uh, two by four. So, but it does the job and it's even got different levels. So <sighs> now maybe I can build my miter saw station. Ooh. Hey mom. Yeah. What are we doing? Going to eat sushi. I've never eaten sushi before. I've never eaten sushi either. It's going to be a new experience. A new experience? I'm being adventurous. Oh, that would be good. So, and look, I don't have a hat on. I actually have hair. You know, when I worked at Lowe's, I wore a hat all the time. And the first time I went without a hat, people were like, oh, I thought you were bald. They also think, because he always wears shirts like this, people they think, think I have he has tattoos, tattoos all over his arms. I do it because this absorbs moisture and it's actually like an air conditioner when you're out in the heat. It's crazy, but it's true. I think it's weird. I'm just saying one day, last spring, I wore sleeves, never had a drop of pers perspiration on my forehead. Next day, I wore just a short sleeve, drenched, could not stay cool. So the next day I wore long sleeves again, not a drop of perspiration, is it? your sweat absorbs into the sleeve and then as the breeze grows over, it's like air conditioning. So, it's science. Okay, so we are about to try sushi. And there's only one little row that's not gluten free. So I have one, two, three, three options. Okay, I'm gonna go with the safe one. Should I be safe or adventure? Oh, uh, is that the cowboy one? Yes. Okay, so rice is gonna go first. So here he goes. Cajun cowboy, is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good? He ate that really fast. He ate that really fast. That was good. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of challenged with the... I see that. I'm not... I mean, can I just use my fingers? Yes. Oh, that's... Well, it's the avocado. I'm just going to stack it. Really? You're cheap. It's good, I like it. This is exciting. We're cultured now. <laughs> is this cultured? Is that what this is? It's an amazing angle, by the way. I love your camera placement. 
Chuck is put the, very the titles over here of all the sushi yeah. over here. <laughs> no, I like it. I'm impressed. It's good. It's good. It's it is good. All right, so we're fans of sushi. You, our friendship will survive this Okay, evening. I am genuinely impressed. Like, I'm scared. I've been scared of sushi all these years. That's so sweet that he had gluten free soy sauce. Not he, but the place. I mean, that's good. Okay, I like sushi. Who knew? Who knew? But see, that, now what's going to happen is the next time we're going to go, and she's not going to be there to order for No, we're, we're only going with Julie. No, this is the thing now. <laughs> this is the thing. We go to have sushi with the Pattersons. Say hi, Pattersons. Say hi. Is it on you yet, Matthew? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we like we only go sauce? to sushi with the Mattersons. This is like this is our sauce? new thing. Well, this was a success. Mm -hmm. All right, so very quickly, what I just did was just put a couple of little uh, scab blocks up uh, next to the beams, just so that once I covered everything up with plastic and got ready to put uh, the paneling on this wall or the planks. I would have something to tie into instead of just floating next to that beam. So I did that for two beams, then I covered it up with plastic, and then I had to come back and put some old scrap two befores up along the studs on the edges. So that, again, there was something for the planks to tie into. I also needed it for this backer board. It's basically just a spare piece of plywood. Put three deck screws into each of the studs, and that's gonna give me something to tie the nesting boxes to no matter where I screw it into, it'll, it'll go into something solid and all these deck screws and the studs will hold up the weight of it. All right, nesting boxes. They're kind of useless nesting boxes right now because I took the floor out of each of them, but kind of had to, it was nasty. I just went straight on the burn pile. So uh, this thing is solid. I've got one, two, three, four, screws in each compartment um, so I'll come back I've got metal strapping I've got plywood I've got all kinds of things that we can put along the bottom I've even thought about putting slanted shelves uh, where this lip is the front of it and it's just barely there and then it slides backwards so that stuff would be in the back I don't know haven't quite figured that part out yet but it's dinner time this can wait Y'all, my dog is weird. She keeps finding this dead locust that didn't make it out of its shell. Excuse me, cicada. I was corrected the other day. Um, she keeps finding this one and trying to sneak it away and eat it. And I keep stealing it from her. I'm tired of it. Okay, so the nesting boxes are done for now. Uh, I used some straps on the sides where it extended up above I just folded it back over and used one of those roofing screws self-tapping screw these are just 10 screws it's what you use for um, metal studs to connect them all together they're very tiny but very sharp and self-drilling which means I've got to come back later <laughs> I don't know if you can see it very well but those sharp points sticking through I've got to get a grinder on those and just cut those off so that nobody putting anything in the shelf accidentally rips their hand open that would be very unpleasant not to mention unsafe and not YouTube worthy but it would be a good story 
So a couple weeks ago, Janet and I went on a double date with some friends and tried sushi for the first time. They said it was extremely delicious and now we're about to try sushi. Yeah, so the kids have been begging to try sushi ever since. I this is obviously it. not the same sushi we ate there. But it still looks pretty tasty. <laughs> These are just California rolls. Um, and I've dared them to touch just a little bit of wasabi to the tongues and they all say they're absolutely refusing. Do you want to dip in anything that's ginger? No, that's I That's soy I do not. and that's I do wasabi. Not. Okay. All right. For camera, here's Jameson's first sushi. It's delicious. It's delicious. All right, your turn. It's I thought so I was good. Going last. Oh, you want to go last? Well, baby, I've already had sushi before. Fine, I'll eat one. That is delicious. Here, I'm gonna eat mine real quick. <gasps> no! How is it? Is it good? <laughs> no, no, no! I'm not gonna I read a great quote the other day. This guy said that his his dad, when he was growing up, mm -hmm. used to give them a pepper, like a hot pepper, and he'd tell them to take a bite of it. And then they'd sit there and be like, oh, it burns, it burns. And he told them, he said, just suffer through it. It'll pass in a moment. And so sure enough, a minute later, it stopped burning. And he told them, he said, this is like life. There will be times when hard things happen to us. There's bitter tastes, but we persevere we struggle through it and it'll pass mm. so appropriate that sushi is so good mm -hmm. we've lost everybody else so really happy with it uh now let's put some stuff in it all right i'd say it holds weight it's good just to be fair, this isn't like my Chip and Joanna Gaines shrine or anything. There's a reason that I buy magazines that they appear in, and it has nothing to do with being a Psycho Stalker fan. It's just very surreal when you see your family members on national publications. Alright guys, well, um, that's two quick projects. I uh, really like the nesting boxes, I like the storage it gives, I like the decorative aspects. Um, I found a little yardstick and just uh, used those self-tapping screws, the tin screws from up underneath, just to give that a little lift. That's how I could put those magazines up top. Um, that may not end up being what stays in there, but I think it gives a pretty good idea of what's possible. Uh, as soon as we get the planks on the wall, uh, then I've got some wire basket storage. I've got two units that will go underneath that on either side. And then I've got some nice uh, finished wood to make kind of a countertop, a desktop there. So there's some cool stuff going on there. The big thing is going to be that end of the building. Uh, I got to get in here either tomorrow or Wednesday because today's Monday. I got to get in here and build that blasted miter saw station and now that we've got all the lumber sorted um, that's gonna make that a lot easier to find what I need I've already got uh, the tops the plywood tops over here uh, I've just got to measure everything out and cut the two befores build the frames and I know how I'm gonna do it I just have to do it so all that in in between job searches and applications and meeting with potential clients to do home improvement projects for them so i said in the last video it's not an issue of if we're going to land it's just when um, and we've got some pretty pretty good options as far as short term janet and i had a good talk today and figured out because uh, she is a teacher and because uh, we 
are so connected with the school district and with this community. Um, and since I have a degree, it's very easy for me to go be a substitute teacher, make a little bit extra cash there. And I'm going to meet tomorrow with the uh, transportation office uh, to apply to be a bus driver. Now I've got Caveman's call. I am a bus driver stuck in the So, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, hope you got some creative ideas from this. Again, chicken nesting boxes. Who would have thunk? Uh, but it's a pretty cool storage option. Granted, you have to do a little bit of uh, customizing and tinkering with it to get it to actually hold things besides chickens and eggs. At least they're not demon chickens and eggs. Uh, we posted yesterday's video and last I looked we had 15 new subscribers. So thank you and welcome to the channel. Uh, feel free to share these videos. Feel free to leave comments and ask questions. I promise you we read them, we respond, we interact with you guys. It's fun for us. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram, The Real Life Riddells. You can find us on Facebook. There's The Real Life Riddells page, and then there's also my page is public, Bryce Allen Riddell. Um, so invite you to connect with us online. Um, again, if you have not subscribed, invite you to. Uh, it's a great way to show some encouragement and some love to us, especially while we're going through kind of this transition time. Uh, and I posted on Facebook today. I said, hey, long shot, you know. Maybe we'll get 850 subscribers and we'll monetize the channel and then I won't have to get another job. Ha! It would be awesome, but I don't. I know that's not how this happens. Um, there's a lot more to it. Trust me, I've studied it. But, you know, getting to 1,000 subscribers is step one. So, you know, if that happened, I'm all for it. If not, this is still fun. We aren't doing this for the money. We're doing this just for the fun of sharing life with you guys and the extra added accountability of knowing that somebody's watching, because I've seen this through Instagram and Facebook, people are saying, hey, how's that project going? And there's an inside joke online about, man, this should have only taken you half day. We'll talk about that story later. So this is definitely bigger than a half day. But anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure and click that subscribe button. Click the bell if you wanna be notified when we post new episodes. And please feel free to share and uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.